Roger Castillo reporting back to you on the crisis we're having here in downtown San Jose, abandoning these lime scooters and the other talking about lime scooters, burnt scooters. 42 volt batteries thrown in the river, ending up in the river for months or if not years at a time. Behind me is the abandoned ranger station, $8 million ranger station. To the other direction is the Sharks Arena. And then coming down, you'll see here is the first scooter after the water cleared. Underwater, and then there's another piece or another part of a scooter that's buried. And then we have all these little animals, little baby goslin, ge geese, and other birds. Sandy, a long time historian now, living here on the Guad River off St. John Street. What is your opinion on these scooters over here? Well, they don't belong in the water. It's terrible, huh? Well, it's... Well, it's poison. Yeah. It's poison. It's it's hard here because it's not a it's a matter of which is more toxic, the scooters or the homeless crap in the creek. And we're gonna zoom in on this scooter, which got hung up on the rocks, and this looks like a lime, because only the lime are green, from Lime Company, and deadly scooters are being dumped in here. And we're not even looking at the fish, which we know are even more, uh, you know, more affected by being electroshocked by these 42 volt batteries as they pass by them. Okay, after today, at least 20 I have picked up, all abandoned in the river system, bird and limes. Uh, all underwater. Dredging activity underneath Park Avenue. Clearing the channel for outmigrating Chinook or King Baby Fry Salmon. In the process, destroying an Army Corps project by pulling out the hardware. The piles of gravels, but please note that these rusted anchors are four feet in height and are sticking out of the water, emphasizing the hazards they pose to the public and critically damaging an Army Corps project for the last 14 years. Thousands have been pulled out and they pose extreme hazards for small craft navigation, inflatable kayaks, and canoes. The buried one underneath the piles of gravel on the rail systems, endangered fish posted all over this rail and then we're overlooking the eight million dollar ranger station where now somebody has refu took refuge under the the ranger station to live almost like in a tunnel state please observe the honey bucket they use this to dump their sewage into the river system dredging commenced on april 17th at Coleman Avenue. I haven't even assessed the deep water locations where the water six to five feet deep and uh, just the bird and the lime scooters that are being found in the river here.